Good morning, you guys. It's 8.44, April 27th. I'm going to uh, read a few scriptures we did yesterday on the live stream. I took it down because the recording isn't too good. So, what I'm going to do is uh, read to you. 22, his king's 19, okay. All right, let me make sure I got the right one. Yes. Here we go. First Kings, you guys. Fake news. Why do we have fake news? Um, what's going on, you guys, is same thing that happened a long time ago. Okay, the Word of God from the beginning to the end. The things that God has done in the past, He will do again. Okay, he, God doesn't change. That's the biggest thing that people don't understand. And they say, well, they're reading about what happened then. Like God's going to, they'll try to say he wouldn't do that again. Oh, yes, he would. Why wouldn't he? You know, he, God doesn't change. You know, what makes you think he's changed when he says he doesn't change? And that's why I said in the King James Version, the first chapter, first verse has 44 letters. The last chapter, last verse, has 44 letters. This isn't by coincidence. It's just letting you know. God, from the beginning to the end, doesn't change. 44 and 44 is 88. <coughs> and then that last verse just happens to be um, 20, uh, 21. Verse 22, 21. And What's 21? It's 777, the very end. What have I been seeing all the time, you guys? 777, the end. It's letting you know. That's why you're seeing triple sevens. When a lot of us out there have been saying we've been seeing sevens a lot, triple sevens. The last verse is 2221. And it's 21 divided by 3. That's 777. That's letting you know it's over here, Okay. And we got to listen to the whole word of God. Don't people that are twisting it, you know, that's unsound doctrine. The word warns us about people listening to unsound doctrine. There's several things in there where they warn you about people uh, twisting the word of God. They were doing it in Paul's day, you know, right after he gave the church the message. He'd come back in a few months and they were already twisting it, you know, and that's why they continue to warn you about it devils that's what he does he's here and we're in the last days and people love uh having itchy ears being told what they want to hear all right the lying spirit fake news you guys now it says biblical revelations as well in fact fake news are not alien to biblical revelations one prominent incident was the destruction of the wicked king ahab the plan to uh, disseminate fake news took place in heaven. This piece of fake news sealed the doom of King Ahab. All right, First Kings twenty two nineteen, and he said, "Hear thou, therefore, the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and his left hand." Verse 20. And the Lord said, Who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth, uh, Galeed? And one said this manner, and another said that manner. 21. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. 22. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, We'll go Go forth, and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. <clears throat> 23. Now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets, and the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee. Okay. This is what's happening, you guys. I just want you guys to know the truth. 
when we're seeing these things, uh, what's taking place, people flocking to these people, and we're hearing people twist the word, and we're like, oh man, like I'm surprised they're, that's way off. And uh, these other people are going, they're like loving it. They love it. And God said, I'll send them strong delusions so that they will believe the lies where we don't. I don't twist any of the words of God to fit what I think it means. I read it and understand it. What it says is what it means exactly. And I don't twist it to what I think. I took a Bible study course, you guys, and uh, you'll have a group of people there that will read it and what they think that it means. And then you'll have five or three to five different ideas of it. And then they'll, they'll all pick what they think it means. And then the people will go out and they'll start their own denomination. You know, reading and saying what they want to say. What's going to happen in the end here, you guys? These people, eventually, they're going to come away from the denominations. And they're going to come back to the Word of God for what it means and what it says. And they're going to get away from all these different religions. And they're going to believe on Christ. Only in Christ. They're not going to believe in what man says anymore. They're going to believe on the word of God. Okay? Here is where God sends fears. Puts it in their minds. Remember the word says, uh, I will bring their fears upon them. Okay? Second Kings uh, 7 to 5 through 7. And they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the Syrians. And when they were come the uttermost part of the camp of Syria, behold, there was no man there, nobody. They left. Uh, six. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of great host. And they said one to another, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. 7-7 seven, seven. Wherefore they rose and fled in the twilight. They left their tents, they left their horses, their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. You guys, this is what's happening right now. People are under... Uh, They're under strong delusions to believe the lies. You got people out there that are speaking it. And you got people out there that are listening to it because they love not the truth. And the word says, you know, that because they love not the truth, I will send strong delusions so that they may believe the lies. That's what it says in the last days. This is what we're in right now. Okay. God's done it before. He's doing it again. And people are listening to too much what man is saying and not what the word of God is saying. Okay, that's why Jesus told us to sit back and watch. So, you guys, let's just kick back and watch and pray for him, okay? We abide in Christ. And they want to embrace sin, like, you know, say, well, we're all sinners, we're going to sin, and it's okay. I'm sealed until the day of redemption, so even if I sin, it doesn't matter. Oh, it matters, you know. Listen, when you're abiding and you're following in Christ, you're not going to want to sin, you know. And, and it says, uh, if you willfully sin after receiving the knowledge of the truth, let me tell you something, you guys. We know the truth, don't we? And we're not willfully sinning. But get angry or something like that, um, there's a sin that's not a sin unto death. And then there's a sin that is a sin unto death, Okay. A lot of people are twisting these words, the lying spirit, okay? Don't twist it. Don't make it sound like what you want to feel. Don't justify your sins. Stay close to Christ. I mean, press right into Christ right now more than ever because uh, the deceptions are going to be getting worse. Uh, don't, let, don't have an itchy ear. That's about the best advice I can give you. Don't have an itchy ear. It's going to get real wicked here soon for a lot of people. They're saying rapture any moment. 
You guys, I've seen where uh, it's going to be civil unrest. It's going to be very chaotic. And uh, the rapture will happen, but it's not going to happen like people have been saying it. Okay? A lot of people that are being led to listen to what they want to hear. The lying spirit. Well, when we read the Word of God, it tells us it's going to be a time of trouble like there never was. And I've seen where people are going to be sinking in the sand. And I ran down there. To me, it was like a rock. In other words, wherever we go, we're going to be in Christ. A lot of these other people that think they're in Christ, they're not. They're in the man that they're listening to. You know, they're trusted in man rather than the Word of God. And they're letting man tell them what, you know, they're not reading their Bible is what it boils down to. You got to read the Word of God and don't take it for what you think it means. And the beginning of knowledge with God is the fear of God, you know. And then you're not going to be, you won't want to have your ears tickled. And that's what's happening. A lot of people are doing that, you know. But we also know, reading the Word, that God loves us. And we also know this, we were predestined, pre-chosen for this time that we're in, you know. The, the Holy Spirit's opened my eyes and revealed many things to me, you guys. And I see what's happening and why it's happening. Can't do nothing. I can't do nothing about it. People are going to do what they're going to do. They're choosing to follow this, and I know why. You know, it's it's a delusion that they're in. Many people are in it, man. You know, God help them. I pray for them all. I don't hate any of these people, but... uh. If I did, I wouldn't warn them, you know? Wouldn't try to warn them. And I have, and they don't reply back. And if they do, they're, they're like, really angry about it. You know, that's okay. It is going to be what it's going to be, right? And uh, five wise and five foolish. People are going to, you know, God knows who everybody is and what they're going to do. God help them, huh? All right, you guys, let's be strong in the Lord. And uh, this evening, I got a few things put together already. But uh, I like to record these because it's more easier to hear and it's more clear. So, you know, when we do the lives, we're going to try to read some. But I'm going to try to uh, put the scripture, what we're reading, and uh, record it because it's more clear and easier to understand. All right, you guys, pray for all our brothers and sisters in Christ, okay? Pray for the lost, that their eyes may be opened, and we pray for the children, you know? But it's going to be what it's going to be. Everything's going to happen exactly as it's supposed to happen. God knows it, and we don't hate any of these people. Just remember, it's a spirit. That comes upon them and that's doing what it's doing. God doesn't change. This is exactly what it is. Okay? Love you all in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.